I'd like to take this time to introduce Tim Schobel, a senior NetSuite consultant at Business Solution Partners, who's put this presentation together for us today. And Tim, why don't you hop on board? Hi, everybody. Yep. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, personalizing and publishing dashboards in NetSuite. So I'm just going to start off with a quick review of the agenda here uh, with a quick, uh, so we're going to start with an introduction and kind of overview of concepts and basic terminology before uh, getting into more of the meat of this session and introducing uh, every step of the way leading up to publishing a dashboard to other users uh, before we get into a demo. So uh, the building blocks of ultimately publishing a dashboard start with role setup and associating a dashboard with a role. At that point, you can personalize those default dashboards and then publish them to other users. And I'm gonna walk through that process during our demo. Uh, at any point, uh, feel free to post uh, questions in the Q&A, and I'll uh, try to address those at the uh, conclusion of this, if there's time. So getting into the uh, introduction to dashboards, I want to just introduce some basic terminology here. So there are centers in NetSuite. Basically, these are role-based functional areas, um, and they really a center describes a, a list of tabs that you see when you log into NetSuite. Uh, for example, administrators might see uh, drop down tabs uh, when they log in that are broken out by transactions or list data or setup tasks. Whereas other users with different roles like accountants or sales reps might have still other options when they log into NetSuite. So basically centers uh, in the center associated with a given role controls the appearance out of the box uh, when logging into NetSuite. So they uh, display um, variable tabbed pages, those tabbed pages, we call those center tabs, and they provide users with uh, links, you know, pertinent information uh, that they would need to do their jobs. A dashboard then is describing the collection of real-time data relevant to that specific page and the user viewing that page. So if a center has multiple tabs and pages, the dashboard is the appearance of those pages. And this is just a visual workspace that gives users access to information needed at a glance. That information is displayed in what we call portlets. So I have a screenshot of a dashboard on this uh, uh, slide here. And every one of these boxes that you're seeing uh, in this image, these are what we call portlets. So they're just dynamic data display windows. These can be dragged and dropped and rearranged. Um, and we can add or remove them, collapse or expand them. Um, and they can give you different sorts of data broken out into uh, various presentations as, as, as like KPIs, scorecards, trend graphs, report snapshots, um, and still more options on top of that, like uh, shortcut groups, um, reminders, and so on. So now let's talk a little bit about the uh, building blocks here with roles and uh, dashboard setup. So the first step is to customize a role. Uh, so when administrators are customizing a role out of the box, NetSuite comes with these standard roles, which administrators then customize. And those versions of those standard roles are then editable moving forward. So as part of uh, initial implementation uh, best practices, it's recommended that with whatever edition of NetSuite, admin the administrator goes in and customizes every standard role that came with their edition of NetSuite so that there's then a version of that role that can be edited. And these custom versus standard roles are denoted by whether they have an edit or a customize option appearing to the left of them in the list of roles. And we'll show this during the demo. But when creating that new role for the first time, that new customizable custom role, you, it's a best practice to select a dashboard on the dashboard sub tab of that role record. And that is shown in this screenshot. So in this example, if I'm creating a custom copy of a you know, standard accountant role, I'm gonna be limited to 
dash selecting a dashboard that's uh, came with your edition of NetSuite. So, uh, and that's associated with that specific role or center type. So I'm not gonna be able to put in a, uh, you know, sales rep dashboard on a custom copy of a accountant role, for example, because those are associated with different centers and different functional areas in NetSuite. Now, after I select this dashboard, the purpose of doing this is really to give uh, basically a baseline starting point, some standardized configuration of the dashboard so that when users log in, there's some consistent format that they're seeing in NetSuite. But that custom uh, template or that standard template can then be customized. So it's sort of like a starting place. Um, when we, it's a best practice to not you know, create a role from scratch. You would create a custom copy, basically like saving as function, right? To uh, then create an editable role that has a lot of the same uh, per, you know, permissions as the standard account role, for example. Similarly, you would associate that uh, new custom role with some template dashboard as like a first step. So you're not starting with a completely empty workspace. After that though, the dashboard is not editable. So as you can see in this screenshot, once you save, and if you go back to the dashboard sub tab on the roll, you can't change this dashboard. Uh, as you can see, it's displayed in inline uh, uh, display mode, uh, even when you're viewing the roll in edit. So you know, the, what that poses is you can still overwrite the role just by uh, publishing it as long as that role has the published dashboards permission and that's under the permissions setup section on the role record. So now I'm going to get into uh, personalizing dashboards. So this being the next step after we've uh, you know, set up our role, we can then assign that role to ourselves and log in and start personalizing that dashboard. So when you log into NetSuite, in the top right of the screen, you're under your name and the uh, you know company and your role that you see in the top right here. Like for example, this person's name is Catherine Glass. They're logged into this company's NetSuite with administrator role. You see these two options here to personalize or adjust the layout of your dashboard in the top right. And some of these things can be locked down depending on the published dashboard that's associated with a role. For example, maybe a user is restricted in, their, in how much they can personalize a dashboard. All those settings can be adjusted and I'll show that during the uh, demo. And just to note, things like the settings portlet where you control you know, your ability to reset your password and so on, those cannot be removed. So there are certain locked objects. Okay, so I'm just going to review each of these different options. So layouts really is just describing the presentation of your portlets rather than the individual selection of portlets. So on layout, I can choose to display my portlets in a two panel layout, a tri panel layout, or a single panel layout, whichever you prefer or works best for you to visualize the data. And then by clicking personalize, I can add or remove portlets. And under the standard content section on the left side here, I can, you know, this is where I would add additional portlets. And under currently used, I could quickly remove portlets under here. And I'll show that as well. So now I want to get into uh, publishing. So at this point, you've you know done the two steps uh, you know, required at first. You know, you need to at first give yourself the role and then customize the dashboard. At that point, you're ready to publish. So this is something administrators would do. It's a time-saving mechanism, allowing them to basically publish a consistent interface to other users in the same functional area. So instead of everybody having to customize their dashboards individually, somebody with the appropriate permission and role can assign themselves that role and then publish it to other users uh, instead of everybody having to do it themselves. So as already noted, centers are related to these functional areas like accounting or marketing or sales or support. Um, and a, you can choose to publish a dashboard configuration that might be on one page or on multiple pages. 
So you would go uh, to the settings portlet to publish the dashboard. So it's this task right here. If the role does not have that published dashboards permission, this is not going to be an option. So you need to make sure that that role has the published dashboards uh, permission in order to be able to publish it. But uh, firstly, you would just need to make sure that you've personalized it. And then when you choose to publish it, you can choose which roles you're publishing it to and whether to override existing user settings and so on. So now I'm gonna get into the uh, demo. So here I am in NetSuite. I'm in a demo account as an administrator. I wanted to show you this uh, here. So as described, this is the center, this dark blue ribbon stretching across the top of the screen. This includes all of your center tabs. If I click on any of these, I can adjust the appearance under each of these tabs. So as you can see here, this clearly is using a two panel layout, the first option. And this is using a tri panel. And you, know, you can just, you can basically adjust every one of these. Um, and you can drag and drop and rearrange uh, portlets as needed. And you can choose to publish as many tabs as you want to other users. I'm just introducing these concepts from an administrator role uh, at first here because I want to um, use this administrator role to show you a couple of pages that I mentioned in my uh, presentation just now. So firstly, under customization as an administrator, I can show you the center tabs and the centers. So over here, I can uh, show you the centers. These are broken out. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> over here, I can show you the uh, center tabs rather. So these, as you can see, are broken out by whether they display for the accounting center or the executive center or the shipping center. Some of these I don't see as an administrator like AP or AR. That's because I would need to be using a role associated with one of these uh, centers in order to see them. Then under uh, setup users roles, I can show you this, manage roles. As you can see here, this is what I was referencing earlier by uh, the distinguishing between a standard or a custom role with either it displaying an edit or a customize option. If I click customize, you can see the role is locked, that standard role, and I can save, but that's not going to overwrite. If I edit a custom role, um, you'll see that I can uh, you know, make additional copies, but or I would overwrite it. So in the top left, I have the save as option. I can say sales to save as and uh, adjust that role as needed. But from here, you cannot edit the dashboard, as you can see. The only option is if this role has the published dashboards permission under permissions set up, if they have this and you assign yourself the role, then you can personalize the dashboard and publish it to other users. That's the only way to overwrite what's listed here in the uh, published dashboard field. Okay. So I already went ahead and created a, uh, a role here called uh, accountant two. As you can see, this one um, does have the published dashboards permission and it also has no dashboard at the moment. So I need to customize this. I've already gotten started customizing this for my own user, but I have not yet published this to other people. So I'm going to switch gears and get into that role now. And now we're going to start personalizing it. So I've already personalized this somewhat. Um, so I'll just explain here. Um, I'm not. I'm going to leave this layout as is. I've already shown a couple of different uh, options, but I, let's just say I prefer this one, so I'm not going to change this. I can also personalize and add content. So in the standard content here, I can see the number uh, remaining that I can use of each type of portlet. So you can see five in the top uh, right corner of this option or six here, four here. That means uh, you know, there is some limit on how many of these you can add to a single page. 
Um, I've already added a couple myself and I'll show you uh, how to do that. So one of the most common requests that I have um, is, you know, how do we add uh, saved search results to a dashboard? I, you know, I've created a custom search. I need to be able to see this at a glance every time I log in. Well, I've got a couple of those right here. If I look at my currently used, I can hover over each of these and see the portlets highlighted. So I've got a reminders portlet. As I hover over this, I can see that highlighted. I've got a couple of search portlets, each of which are highlighted. I can choose to remove one of these by clicking the X up here. And then it disappears off of my, uh, off of my dashboard. I can I also remove a portlet by hovering over these three dots on the right and clicking remove. Maybe I don't want to remove it completely. I can collapse and expand portlets as needed. These, uh, they might be hard to see, but these six dots here, those are basically the collapse and expand options on a portlet. So um, now that I'm in here, I've got uh, this. Um, reminders portlet. I can also hover the, over the three dots. I can choose to set this up, adding or removing reminders that I think would be pertinent to users using this role and saving. Maybe I think uh, quick search isn't really necessary or recent records. I'm going to get rid of that one. New release is kind of huge and bulky. Because I don't need my account looking at that all the time. So I'm just going to take that out as well. KPIs, I can set this up. I can choose to include um, other KPIs. I can add standard KPIs here. Maybe I want to see um, my uh, net cash flow as an accountant, right? I can compare this period to last period. Save that. Now, this is not really displaying very much information because I'm in a demo account, but I can just drag that up. Put that up at the top. I can also have shortcuts, shortcut portlets. These are just going to list from your uh, source from your shortcuts list. So as you uh, go through NetSuite, you can bookmark pages internally, and those appear in this drop down to the left of the home icon. And um, yeah, I think I do want my bank reconciliation summary portlet here. So I've already got this saved search embedded in a portlet. Maybe I need to add another one. So I'm going to personalize this. I'm going to go back up to standard content. I do want a custom search portlet in here. Now, this isn't going to display anything until I click setup. And I want to start typing in the name of my search. OK, I find my saved searches in that drop down. Uh, one prerequisite step here is that the search needs to have been enabled for dashboard view to appear in this drop down. So if you're trying to embed safe search results here, just make sure that on the safe search setup, you've enabled it for a dashboard view. And I can choose to give this a custom title if I want, and uh, a lot of other options here as well. But I'm just going to leave this and save. And there we have it. I've got my overdue invoices by customer search embedded here showing me by customer the number of invoices that are overdue and the overdue balance associated with those. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied. I'm not gonna you know, go too crazy here. I, I might show maybe one more. I can add a trend graph, show me uh, if I set this up. I wanna see sales monthly, that's sufficient. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I've got my sales displayed right here on my uh, home dashboard. I can choose if I want that you now to be displayed in different uh, sorts of layouts, line graphs or bar charts and so on. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, I think I'm satisfied again with that layout. And now I'm gonna scroll down here to the settings portlet and I'm gonna choose to publish this dashboard. So I'm gonna click this option here. And I can choose to give this a new name. So I'm going to say okay, counting dashboard. And I can give this an ID if I want, prefix usually by some uh, underscore. And I'll just say 
All right. And then I've got a couple of options here. Um, do I want to lock shortcuts or lock the new bar? Uh, what do these mean? So locking shortcuts, that means I'm locking the ability to customize this dropdown. And locking the new bar, that means I'm locking the ability to customize this. As you can see, uh, this is a create new menu. This allows you uh, to you know, quick link to each of these blank forms uh, as if creating a new one um, without having to go through the navigation paths and the center tabs. But at the bottom of this, I have the option to personalize and continue adding to it. So one thing that's not included, but I usually add is save search. Um, maybe I wanna you know, prevent users from being able to add uh, things to this list that are irrelevant to them. I could choose. I could choose to do that if I want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave these both unlocked. I want users to continue to add things that are relevant to them. I want them to just have some baseline of information that they need to see by default. But on a per user basis, they can continue to edit this as needed. So then I'm going to choose to publish this to other roles. So as I showed you when we first got into the screen share in Netsuite. Yeah, there you you there are uh, accounting centers and there are roles various roles associated with those. Since I'm in the accountant role associated with the accounting center, I'm only seeing other accounting center roles here. So I'm not going to be able to publish this to a sales rep, for example. So maybe I want to publish this to the accountant and the accountant too, or. Maybe I'll choose to publish it to some other role if I want to, like some custom, uh, different custom role, but I'm just gonna choose, you know what, anybody who has accountant to, I want them to see the same thing. So I'm gonna also choose to override existing user settings here. I'm gonna hit okay. And on the apply to tab section, I can I what you need to do is you need to hit mark all and that will publish every single tab, but you have various personalization options here. So, you know, do I want to relieve the ability to personalize um, completely unlocked, locked, or add and move content? So these options are explained up here. So unlocked users can continue to modify their content without restriction locked they cannot personalize the tab and add or move content they can continue to add to it but they cannot remove anything and they can also continue to drag and drop and rearrange as needed so i'm going to leave this unlocked uh, something that's usually recommended is to not publish these customer dashboard, project dashboard, or vendor dashboard uh, tabs. These are associated with uh, vendor center or customer center roles, and and we don't we don't want to really touch these. So I uh, usually uncheck those, and I choose to just publish everything else. However, uh, I did only if you want to only publish the tab that you customized. I can unmark this and just publish the home tab. All right. And that is all I customize. So I'm just going to publish home. And that's really it. So translation just has to do with multi language. I'm going to save this. I'm just going to give this account two dash. Okay. And I've now published that to this role. If I uh, toggle back to the administrator now and look at that role. I can now see that published dashboard. And I can just continue to overwrite that if I need to. So, you know, maybe I'll go back into that role. And look at the list appearing to the right of the saved dashboard. So here I can uh, see all the dashboards that have been published to this role. And I can edit the one I just published and continue to make some changes here. But you'll see that there are certain options that I cannot continue to edit. So, you know, what tabs I've published and the, um, uh, you know, whether the content is locked or not, those things cannot be changed. But the roles to which it could be applied, that can change, or whether to lock shortcuts of the new bar, I, I can continue to make those changes after the fact. 
and whether or not I'm overriding user settings. I, I can continue to do all of that if I need to. Okay. So um, with that, that's uh, some of what I had uh, prepared for today. I just wanted to end by showing a quick comparison between centers um, out of the box here. This is the accounting center and some of the tabs visible to the accountant. But if I switch to maybe a merchandising manager role, and this is a retail edition of NetSuite, and I have different tabs up here, shipping, receiving, inventory. Yeah. So I just wanted to show some of these differences that you'll see. If I go to sales, again, I, you know, leads, opportunities, customers, uh, something to be aware of if you know, users are getting confused. Like uh, if you have users, you know, accountants and uh, salespeople talking, well, how do I get to the list of customers? I'm seeing two different paths. If you want to establish consistency, you have an option under home set preferences to go to the appearance tab and use the classic interface. This is the interface used by the administrator. with the uh, tabs broken out like so. So that's one uh, way to give everybody kind of standardized navigation paths. So uh, with that, I'm gonna kind of end it here.